Inspirational Women, High School's Getting Musical, and Starbucks, anyone? And we wrap up this month with our athletic trainers. Welcome to Cypress Woods High School, home of the Wildcats. You're watching C-Dub today. Welcome to our March episode of CDEB Today. My name is Maggie Wright. And I'm Abby Hernandez from CDEB Media. This is a month of national celebrations. Maggie, did you know that it's National Women's History Month? I did. It's amazing to have a month dedicated to celebrating women who paved the way for girls like me to be successful. Exactly. Not only is it inspiring, but it's empowering as well. Abe Garcia has more to this story. Women in History Month is a time to highlight, celebrate, and appreciate all women throughout history who have made a difference for women today, whether it be socially, economically, or even mentally, these women have made a positive impact on both men and women today globally. We are able to bring new people into the world. We're motherly and we tend to be very nurturing. I think that it's really important for women to have more equal representation. That way women will feel more heard throughout the world. People will understand why women are thinking this way and what important social issues women are fighting for. I think it's important for women to get involved in politics and be leaders because they do bring different perspectives to different issues. Especially when you're talking about like on the Supreme Court or even having our first female vice president, Kamala Harris. She's able to bring a different perspective into public policy that may have not been considered in the past. Why do you celebrate this month? My name is Abe Garcia, reporting for CW Media. Another national celebration this month is music in our schools. Music has a different effect on everyone. It can create feelings and memories that will never be forgotten. Thomas James checks out the importance of music to our Wildcats. Music impacts everyone in unique ways. In this month, we take a look into what our music programs mean to our students. If anything, it just makes me a lot more appreciative for the music I listen to and the music that I kind of think is bad. Knowing how hard it is to make and especially mix music is just a whole different world that someone like me who's not super used to it can appreciate a lot more. Music is a universal language no matter where you're from. Whether it's making it or playing it, music speaks to all of our hearts. So being in choir has allowed me to be in a really positive community with people who share the same interests as me being able to make music with some great people. Music can help anyone feel like a greater version of themselves day to day. This personal impact knows no bounds. Uh, music gives me a lot of purpose in a lot of the things I do. I've always had like deeply rooted passions in music ever since I was really young. It's an art and something I love to do, something I want to do for the rest of my life. So. With something as special as music, we can all find something to celebrate. For CW Media, I'm Thomas James. Not gonna lie, I would kill for a Starbucks coffee right now. You love coffee? Oh my gosh, I adore it. Mochas, macchiatos, lattes, all of them. I have at least four a day. Four? That's a lot of caffeine. Maybe, but it's just that good. I don't know if it's that good. It's a good thing this month is National Caffeine Awareness Month, where we acknowledge our own caffeine intake. Kobe has more for us on this story. The month of March is known as National Caffeine Awareness Month. The month encourages people to take control of their caffeine addiction. Um, maybe two caffeinated sodas worth, one or two. Come out and do it Dr. Pepper, give or take. While there may be benefits of consuming caffeine drinks such as soda, coffee, or energy drinks, it can also have a negative impact on your health. Uh, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of shakiness, a lot of dehydration that can happen uh, and with dehydration then just causes like weariness and your mood uh, changes more negatively. So being able to stay hydrated and being able to just be uh, properly healthy uh, just benefits my day a lot better. Caffeine Awareness Month encourages people to limit the amount of caffeine they consume daily and drink more water and exercise more. Addiction in general kind of can be uh, chemically dependent, but the headaches, uh, the, the fatigue, the not, the not wanting to eat enough, you can beat that, you can overcome that quite easily. Uh, it's all about slowing it down instead of just cutting it entirely. Uh, instead of going energy drinks, just drink cups of coffee instead. And then from coffee, try tea, and then tea just back to water. Maybe instead of drinking an energy drink after school or work, take the time to go out on a run or a long walk while listening to music. 
Reporting for CW Media, I'm Kobe Geis. It's time for our monthly segment, Into the Woods, where we dive deeper into the activities offered here at the Woods. This month we celebrate National Athletic Trainer Month, where we acknowledge our trainers who do so much for our sports programs. So it's National Athletic Training Month. Um, I think it's great for our profession as a whole you know, highlight it and show some of the things that we do behind the scenes. I think a lot of times um, the general public's not really familiar with everything that we do. Um, so I think it's nice to have a month where it kind of highlights that. The month for Dedicate for Trainers is really cool because you get to respect and honor your trainers and um, you get to realize what they really do for you. And that's really awesome and we really appreciate that. So we um, collaborate with physicians in the area to uh, provide care for our athletes. From rehab to evaluation of injuries to uh, prevention, um, we're here for all games and practices uh, as well. To be a trainer, you, uh, you get to take care of players, and by taking care of them, you build a bond with medicine and you learn a lot about how to deal and take care of others. Well, that wraps up our March episode of CW Today. Don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter. And keep posted by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Maggie Wright. And I'm Abby Hernandez. Thanks for watching CW Today as we strive every month to, to go, go the, the extra, extra degree. degree.